What's good everybody, Walrain1106 back again for an exciting opening today. We've got Obsidian Flames Scarlet and Violet Booster Boxes, going to be breaking two of these open. Um, and unlike my Paldea Evolved and Scarlet Violet videos for Booster Boxes, I will be doing this in a one shot. We're going to open the whole box in this video. So if you want to stick around, you like the channel, subscribe, smash that subscribe button and uh, you know help us grow on this journey as a TCG channel with a you know a little bit of fun stuff here and there with the pokey memes, the gym challenges and things like that as I try to get off the ground. So with that in mind, we're going to get this kicked off and I, I don't want you to think this is, you know, pre-planned or anything. I, I did just take the plastic wrap off before to have a little bit of foresight so I'm not wasting your time. Um, but with that, we've got a 36 pack booster box and we're going to get started. Big chase cards for me. I have hit one of them already being the Ice Q um, SIR. And then I'm also looking for the Pidgeot SIR, the Scizor Illustrator Rare. Um, obviously Charizard would be nice given the value. And then the Lightning Bulb Full Art Terra Tyranitar. Those are going to be the big chasers I've got for the set. And we're going to dive in the, into this accordingly. Hope y'all are having a great Wednesday so far, a good week. We've got some hot weather coming around our parts here in the Midwest. Um, but to be expected with uh, with August weather, that's for sure. Phantom, Paldean Whooper, Bwizzle, Smoliv, Bronzong, Bear Tick, Charmeleon, Lechonk. Can we get a big hitter in the first pack today? We cannot. We just got a Mawile and a Scizor. Now, this set, if you guys aren't aware, um, pull rates have been pretty crazy, so I'm expecting some cool stuff today um, between the two boxes. And it's less that the pull rates are crazy from a numbers perspective, but this is a smaller set. It's only based on the one Japanese set, Ruler of the Black Flame, um, you know, Charizard focused. We only have 12 Illustrator rares out of this set, whereas the previous two, I believe, had 24 or 36. Um, so it, slim pickings in terms of what cards you can get. Um, and, you know, I think the argument of quality over quantity isn't entirely there, but, you know, we'll see what happens. So, Probo Pass, Vengeful Punch, Skarmory, we have a Combi, we have a Rowlet Reverse, and a Toxtricity Hollow. I don't mind getting a few of the Hollows either. You know, I am trying to complete a Master Set. Um, of the Scarlet and Violet sets. Not going to, you know, break the bank or lose sleep over missing a few cards here and there, but I figure it's a fun project to work on over time. Salandit, Electric, Larvitor, Excadrill. That Pidgeotto is fantastic, guys. It just looks like a, like a, like a photo scape of some kind. Like, you know, someone posted up for hours and hours trying to, um, you know, get that shot. Dragonair on the lake. We have a Crab Brawler, survey says, Barboat Reverse, and an Entei Hollow. So we're going to start out 0 for 3. That only means that we're going to pick up from here. Uh, you know, later on in the video, I'll, I'll move a little bit faster through the commons. Just want you to be able to see some of these here to start out. We have Lechonk taking a Mud Bath, Fungus, Nosepass, Litwick. Espeon as an uncommon is absolutely atrocious. How how can the Eeveelutions, especially Espeon and Umbreon, not at least be rares? That blows my mind. Sharpedo, Linoon, Bounce Sweet, Oink Alone, and a Gita Hollow. We're starting out colder than the cool side of the pillow, guys, but I'm, uh, I'm hopeful we'll pick up here soon and get some heat moving in this box. Um, I'm hopeful between two boxes you can pretty much wrap up the the IRs for the most part. I do have the Palafin already, um, but you know that'd be nice to secure some of those. Finizen survey says we got the Scizor. Let's go! Oh, that's a that's a that's a double whammy, guys. Let's get it. We got a Scizor Illustrator Rare and a Pawma EX. All right, I will take that. I know it's not crazy expensive, but this was my big IR chaser from the set. God, that color is just striking like the the red blood moon-esque background on that scissor ready to fight whatever it's doing i i am all for that a little bit speechless to see that in one of the first packs i mean that's a big chaser for me so um at this point we're looking for the tyranitar light bulb and the um the pidgeot we'd love the charizards too from a price perspective i love that charmander such a fun art on that oddish darmanitan Dartrix, 
Frogadier, Claydol, Claydol, sweet too. Okay, we got a Bonsley for the first time in 16 years, Bonsley gets a card, and a Scoville and Hollow. I think that's my first Scoville and, so that's fun. All right. That pack did not want to cooperate with me. Okay, we got a Combi, Diglett, Rowlet, Baltoy, Altaria, Brassius, Houndu. I think that was like our first trainer of the box so far. We got a Rhyme Reverse. Oh, hold on. Oh, man, I thought that'd be something crazy. And a Claydol Hollow. I'm excited that Claydol got a Hollow. That's pretty sweet. I feel like Claydol doesn't get a ton of love. I mean, it had a EX back in Gen 3, the Psychic Type 1, that's doing like Hyper Beams, but... I can't think of any other ultra rare cards that Claydol has got. Wug Trio, Magnazone Reverse. How is the Magnazone an uncommon? That's crazy. Cool looking card though. Autono and a Toga Kiss Hollow. All right, guys, we are just about a quarter of the way through this box. Make sure to tell me in the comment section what your favorite card is from Obsidian Flames. I would love to have that conversation with you. Talk about the set, TCG, art, competitive, whatever you want to chat about. I'll be there for it. We have a reverse Larvesta, reverse Lampent. Oh, there we go. And a Darkrai. I've been trying to pull the, the rare cards off of each other. Um, I've found that, you know, doing the quick pull of a card, like from this Rock Ruff, like up to the wiglet, um, you know, can can scratch the illustrator rare foils uh, a bit. And granted, you know, manufacturing print lines, they're they're kind of like that as it is. But I figure if there's anything I can do to prevent damage, I will do it. We got a palafin on the rare hollow. If you haven't seen that one, palafin is super fun in the games too, um, especially with its you know kind of mystique uh, related to its evolution method, the callbacks to Clark Kent. And Superman, I, I think it was just a really well done superhero Pokemon. Umbreon, great art on that. Ponyard, oh my god, we got the Pidgeot, guys. That's two for two. Our first two big hits of the box were two of my main chasers. And besides the Charizard, like I... Wow, okay, all right. We will take that in at Entei Hollow. What a neat card. I love how old school and OG that looks with like the original Route 18 from Kanto. It's like this weird 2.5D art. Oh my god, that is so, so cool. And I'm so glad I was able to pull that early on. I feel like the stress and weight has been lifted off my my back at this point to, uh, to get that. So wow, guys, what a great way to start this box. Magneton, Temple, Heatmore, Lillipup, Gumshoes, Poopitar, Togetic, Paldean Wooper, Arboliva, and a Gita Hollow once again. Man, that is that is so sweet. I'm uh, I'm pretty jazzed up on that one, guys. Uh, two of the three cards I called out at the beginning, we have we have already secured today. Um, so that's a great way to start this box. I've got a second one in the in the in the wings too. Swablu, Glamet, Tadbulb. Poppy. By the way, petition to stop uh, the country of Japan from raising the price of Poppy higher than Gita. Uh, Poppy's a child. Uh, PSA over. Thank you. Dartrix, Vulpix. You guys probably noticed too, the Pidgeot was the one card I didn't pull off from. Of course, that's, that's how that works, right? And a Thunderous Hollow. No, you guys all have to tell me, too, how you're feeling about the uh, the new Pokemon releases. Um, you know, with, with Raging Bolt, you've got the Cobalion Future Paradox Pokemon. Some cool stuff coming out in the DLCs, and I, I can't wait to see that reflected in the card game as well. Floatzel, Umbreon, Lapras. That's a great Lapras art, by the way. Lillipup, we have a Barboach, survey says. Scovillain Hollow. All right, guys, we have four packs left in this part of the box. I, uh, you know, hits, hits have been quiet. We've really only had the three, um, but it's been quality over quantity in terms of the ones I wanted. Squovit, Oink Alone, got a Salazzle, cool looking Lycan Rock, Belly Bolt. Oh, shoot, we got an Oink Alone and a Toxtricity Hollow. All right, the Hollows have been abundant, um, but again, the ones that we've 
we've wanted have, have presented themselves, and I really can't complain, guys. So Tadbulb, Numel, Mawile, Togedemaru, Ninetales, Poltegeist, Toadscrewl, Charmander Reverse, we have a Finizen Reverse, and a Pidgeot EX. There we go, guys. Pidgeot EX, I think it's a pretty decent card, too. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one quick play, uh, quick search ability each turn. Um, and then Blustery Wind for two colorless energy is going to discard a stadium and play and do 120. That actually seems decent, too. I, I don't play the competitive card game a lot. Um, I like to think I know and can see an ability that's relatively decent. Um, that ability is decent. That move is not terrible. It's not going to hit for super effective, I don't think, all too often. But, you know, it's going to it's gonna do some work, especially in a set that didn't have a lot of very competitive cards. Also, if you haven't noticed, there are so few trainers in this set. Um, I believe, like, maybe 11 or 12 total with Scizor Hollow. Um, and the Arvin, I mean, I, God, I thought Arvin just got a card. Um, so I'm really not too keen on what's going on there. But anyways, we'll go with Gravard, Lechonk, Togepi, Lampent, Soul Rock, Doug Trio, Houndstone, Armor Rouge, and a Lechonk Illustrator Rare. We'll take that. Little sleepy pig boy. That's me after lunch, not wanting to go back to work. I took a little bit of an extended lunch today. I saw that these delivered uh, via eBay, and I was like, I got to get my backside home to open some Obsidian Flames. And I figure um, I've, I've skipped lunch a couple times this week and probably will later this week, too. So it doesn't matter. We'll jump into part two of the box. Um, back half here, we got a Ponyard, Lillipup, Crab Brawler, Wug Trio, Darmanitan, Stoutland. Meltan, Audino Reverse, oh, there we go, and a Gita Full Art, that's my second Gita Full Art out of the set, uh, my very first pack I opened in a three-pack blister had a Gita Full Art for us too, so that's the fifth hit in the box, we've had the SIR, we have a Full Art, two EXs, and two Illustrator Rares, so actually I lied, that's going to be the sixth um, hit that we've had so far, now, I mean, if you hope to get your box up to 12, I mean, you like to think we've got some cool stuff yet to come. Um, you know, a couple of EXs probably. Ooh, we might have something here. Or I'm just catching the glimpse of a of a hollow. First camera up and first quads. I, I love this Cleffa, guys, by the way. It's just, it, it's super cute. The art is really well done. Um, definitely a winner in my eyes. We have a Lampet Reverse and a Palafin once again. All right, let's see what we got here. Clefairy, Capsa Kid, Town Store, Cryogonal, Frogadier is pretty cool too. Hope y'all had a good Froki Community Day if you participated in that. Lechonk and an Entei. Wanted to make sure we didn't get anything crazy uh, before I started talking about it. But no, Froki Community Day was pretty fun. I think I ended up with about 20 Shinies. Um, I got two three-star Shinies evolved up to a Greninja. The Black in red Greninja mix in Pokemon Go is like super saturated. Absolutely love it. Um, and then I got my Hundo evolved up from last year, so that was a long time coming. We have a Diglett and a Pontiard Reverse and a Sko Villain for the Hollow. All right, guys, let's see what we can find here. Togepi, Bonsly, Dolive, Timpole, Espeon, Floatzel, Wish Cash, Altaria, survey says, have a Shuckle Reverse, and a Thunderous. We are making our way through this box. Um, I'm excited for Pokemon 151 to come out here too. Uh, I, I think we're not too far off, probably a month or so. I think we've got something here, guys. I don't know what it is. Oh, that Froakie's so nice. I haven't seen that yet. That looks like it's straight out of the flippin' anime. Like, that is so... Well done from an art perspective. We'll have to keep an eye on the new series and see if that's just pulled from it. Uh, that belly bolt is goofy. That's, that's pretty fun. Electros, Mawile. Oh, we got the Charizard. Okay, all right. We got a Charizard, guys. That's a Charizard EX Terra Dark type. Holy cow. That's sick looking. These look so good in person. Decent condition to... Um, I have opened a little bit of Obsidian Flames that did not look the greatest condition-wise, um, but I think that's going to be a common theme 
with the Gen 9 sets, at least as long as they continue to push product out as swiftly as they do. Um, I would appreciate quality over quantity, but um, when you're the largest marketing or largest media franchise in the world, you maybe don't have that luxury. So camera up, we have a heat more reverse and a scissor hollow. Scizor got a lot of love in this set. You like to see it. Um, I've been watching a, a good number of Whatnot streams, and, and Pokemon Wizard has been opening, or he did open a Neo Genesis box, um, and the, the Scizor Hollow in there. God, the, the Gen 2 Scizor arts are absolutely fantastic. Bullpix, Phantump, Paladian Whooper, Blizzle, Flamago with apparently two five irons for feet. What the heck? It's so goofy looking. Bronzong. Bear Tick, Scyther, we have a King Gambit Reverse, and a Toad's Cruel EX. There we go. That's the first Toad's Cruel card, I believe. Maybe. I could be wrong on that. That might be fake news, guys. It might have got a different card already, but that is the first Toad's Cruel Ultra Rare that we have gotten. I actually think that Toad's School might have gotten Illustrator Rare now that I think about it. Phantump, Vulpix, Froakie. Darumaka, Masquerain, Gumshoes, Pupitar, EV Reverse. We have a Char Cadet and a Toxtricity Hollow. Sorry if I'm blowing through the hollows a little bit fast, guys. I just uh, I figure after after you see a few of them, it's like ah, I don't need to see this every time. Varum, Salandit, Electric, Charmeleon, Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Wiglet. We have a Tynamo Reverse and an Entei Hollow. That Pidgeotto might be one of my favorite arts from the set. That just looks so good. I think it's, I don't know if it's the same person that did that Froki art, but the Froki and the Pidgeotto are really standing out to me as um, common, uncommon arts to uh, keep an eye on. Volcaro I love Volcarona too, so this set's really treated me well. Bronzong, have a Pupitar, and a Scovillian. I know it's probably Pupitar, don't get me wrong, but Pupitar is fun to say. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Considering the Larvitar Illustrator Rare in this set looks like it's eating a mound of uh, Darumaka um, excrement. You know, it might not be too far off. Toad School, Dragonair, Armor Rouge, Ortega, Bunnelby. Oh, there we go. We have a Poppy S I R. That's two in the box. We got the Poppy S I R. Move up to two energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. I don't know if that's going to be all too great of a move, um, but I, I think it's pretty cool that you got the Caparaja in here too. So that's a good looking card. And again, that should not be as expensive as it is in Japan. And one could argue that it's for a multitude of reasons. But if you look at the prices of other female trainers in Japan, it's it's a bit concerning, but anyways, I'm going to leave that there and uh, try not to touch that with a 10-foot pole, because if I was monetized, that's the kind of thing that could get you demonetized. Bunnel B, Smoliv, Pidgey, Toad Scruel, Nine Tails. That Nine Tails art's great, too. So is the Lapras. You have a Lapras? Oh, there we go. I was just talking about this little fella. So this is the Larvitar. Oh, oh that's dinged up pretty bad, too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Try to get that in focus. Shoot, I can't get it to focus, but it definitely has a ding. Yeah, there we go. Like a whole looking ding down there in the corner. That's unfortunate. Some print lines there too, but that's a nice looking card. The 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 Larvitar there reminds me of the Paldean Whooper Illustrator Rare from Paldea Evolved. Like how it's basically all just like light mud and sand for color. And because of that, it the print lines on her are pretty bad. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Rowlet, Volcarona, Altaria, Houndoom, Vengeful Punch. We have a Pidgey Reverse and a Thunderous. All right, let's see. We got four packs remaining. Um, if you stuck with me this far in the video, you're absolutely amazing. Um, I don't think I say this enough because I just tend to say smash the subscribe button. But I, I do sincerely appreciate anyone that sticks it through these videos. Um, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, if you haven't noticed. Um, it's probably my favorite franchise out there. And besides my wife and seven-month-old daughter, um, it's it's one of my favorite things to allocate my time to. Um, who knows? Am I just a man-child? Am I somebody who couldn't let it go? I don't know. But 
Um, it really is just fun for me, and I, I want this channel to be fun for you guys too, um, and for those that stick around. So thank you to everyone that's been commenting on videos, that has you know really supported me, that's liked the content. Um, and for the 276 subscribers, like what in the world? How did that happen? Um, I feel like I was opening those Paldea boxes and had like 30. And now, you know, I, I've almost got this whole like small community developing and it's it's really fun to see. Gramble, Malamar, Larvitter. We have a Team Star Grunt and a Sco Villain. Now going into the last pack, I want to double check here and do a recap, guys. So We've got the Larvitar IR, the Poppy SIR, the Toad Scroll EX, Charizard EX, Gita Full Art, Lechonk IR, Pidgeot EX, Pidgeot SIR, Pama EX, and the Scizor. That's going to be five, ten total cards. So we only have ten hits out of this box. If we're going to get to twelve, this last pack has to be a double whammy, which wouldn't that be a way to go? And again, smash that subscribe button if you're liking the content. We got a Charmander, Mawile, Arvin, Stunfisk, Last Pack Magic. We don't in the IR, SIR slot, but we did get a Glamora EX to finish out the box. Thank you so much for, for being here. Really do appreciate it. And keep an eye out for box number two going up the next day. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.